Hello everyone, this is Akash and I am going to present Netflix movies and TV shows clustering capstone project. With content in our project, introduction, problem statement, data description, null values, exploratory data analysis, data cleaning, topic modeling, model implementation, data pre-processing, k-means and cluster analysis. Introduction. Netflix. Netflix is a company that manages a large collection of TV shows and movies, streaming it anytime via online. This business is profitable because users make a monthly payment to access the platform. However, customers can cancel their subscription at any time. Methodology. Unsupervised machine learning. Clustering. Database. Netflix movies and TV shows. 7,787 rows and 12 columns. Data from last decade. Problem statement. This data says consists of TV shows and movies available on Netflix as of 2019. The data set is collected from Flexible, which is third party Netflix search engine. In 2018, they released an interesting report, which shows that the number of TV shows on Netflix has nearly tri tripled since 2010. The streaming services number of movies has decreased by more than 2000 titles since 2010, while its number of TV shows has nearly tripled. It will be interesting to explore that what all over the insights can be obtained from the same data set. Integrating this data set with other external data sets, such as IMDb ratings, Rotten Tomatoes can also provide many interesting findings. In this project, we are required to do exploratory data analysis, understanding what type content is available in different countries. Is Netflix has increasingly focusing on TV rather than movies in recent years, clustering similar content by matching text-based features. Data description. The data was collected from Flexible, which is third-party Netflix search engine. The data set consists of movies and TV shows data till 2019. The data set has 7,787 rows of data. The data set consists of 11 textual columns and one numeric column. Attribute information. Show ID is unique ID for every movie or TV shows. Type, identifier a movie or TV show. Title, title is of the movie or TV shows. Director, director of we of the movie. Cast, cast is actors involved in the movie or show. Country, country where the movie show was produced. Date added, that it was added on Netflix. Release date, actual release year of the movie or show. Rating, TV rating of the movie or show. Duration, total duration in minutes or number of seasons. Listed in genre. Description, the summary description. Finding null values, null value treatment. Director feature have more than 30.68% of null values, filling null values by unknown. Country feature have 6.51% of null values, we are filling null values by mode of feature. Cast feature have 9.22% of null values, the null value filling by unknown. Rating feature have 0.09% of null values, and filling null values by mode of feature. Date added feature have 0.13% of null values for dropping rows corresponding to null values. Exploratory data analysis. Type, con type of content available on Netflix. Such as, it is evident that there are more movies on Netflix than TV shows. Netflix has 5,377 movies, which is more than double the quantity file quantity of TV shows. The countries which highest content production. 
United States has the most number of content on Netflix. Then India has second highest content on Netflix. Then Australia and Taiwan has least number of content on Netflix. Then we can see release for the year, total release for last 10 years, and the number of release have significant, significantly increased after 2015 and have drawn in 2021 because of COVID-19. Here is release of month wise. Then we can see rating wise content count graph. Then exploratory data analysis, top 10 general in movies. Documentaries is the most popular general followed by comedy. Then the recent distribution of movies. Then we can reach at data cleaning, label encoding, Limitization, limitization, unlike stream, streaming, reduce the infected words properly, ensuring that the root words belong to the language. In limitization, root word is or lemma. For example, runs, running, ran are all form of the word run. Therefore, run is the lemma of all these words. Removing stop words. To remove stop words from sentence, you can divide it, your text into words and then remove the word if it exists in the list of stop words provided by NLTK. TF IDF factorization. TF IDF stands for term frequency inverse document frequency. This is a technique to quantify a word in documents. We generally compute a weight to each word which signifies the importance of work in the document and corpus. This method is a widely used technique if in information, retrieval and text mining, mean max scaling for each value in a feature. Mean max scale subtract the minimum value in the feature and then divide it by the range. Eight, preserve shape of original distribution. Then we can reach at topic modeling, LDA and LSA. Latent semantic analysis is used to find the hidden topics presented by the document or text. These hidden topics then are used for clustering the similar document together. LSA is an unsupervised algorithm, and hence we don't know the actual topic of the document. In natural language processing, the latent Dirichlet allocation is a generative statistical model that allows set of observation to be explained by unobserved groups that explain why some parts of the data are similar. Then word cloud for countries and caste. Then here is our correlation heat map. Then model implementation. First one, affinity propagation. Converge after 81 iterations. Estimated number of clusters is 13. Silhouette coefficient is 0 0.244. Second one, agglomerative propagation. Assume we cut vertical lines with the horizontal line to obtain the number of clusters. Number of clusters are four. The average silhouette score is 0 0.1729. Third one, K-mean clustering. K -min, in K-mean clustering, here is the silhouette analysis done on the above plots to select an optimal value for n clusters. The value of four and five for n clusters looks to be the optimal one. The silhouette scores for each cluster is the above average silhouette score. K-means, to process the learning data, the K-means algorithm in the data mining starts with the first group of randomly selected centroids, which are used as the beginning points for every cluster and then perform iterative, repetitive calculation to optimize the positions of the centroid. It hurts creating and optimizing clusters when either the centroid have stabilized, there is no change in their values because the clustering has been successful. 
the defined number of iteration has been achieved. K means clustering. K means algorithm is an iterative algorithm that tries to partition the data set into K predefined distinct non -overlap, overlapping subgroups where each data points belongs to only one group. Elbow curve. The elbow curve is one of the most popular methods to determine this optimal value of k. The elbow curve uses the sum of square distance to choose an ideal value of k based on the distance between the data points and their assigned clusters. Silhot score. Silhot score is used to evaluate the quality of clusters created using clustering algorithms such as k-means in terms of how well samples are clustered, which are the samples that are similar to each other. Here are k-means elbow curve graph clusters. We clearly see that one cluster is the largest and one cluster has the fewest number of movies. Then here is our app, run dashboard app, Netflix recommender. And we can reach at our conclusion. Dataset contains 7,787 rows and 12 columns in that cast and directors feature contains large number of missing values, so we can drop it. We have two types of content, TV shows and movies. 30.9% contains TV shows and 69.1% contains movies. Most films were released in the years 2018, 19, and 2020, and United States have the min maximum content on Netflix. The months of October, November, December, and January had the largest number of films and TV shows released. The USA, India, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Egypt are the top five producer countries. For the clustering algorithm, we utilized type, director, nation, released year, genre, and year. LDA and LSA has sorted much more similar titles in a group of genre. Applied different clustering models. K means hierarchical agglomerative clustering on data, we got the based cluster arrangements. In affinity propagation, we had 13 clusters and, the, and a silhouette coefficient score of 0 0.244. We cut vertical lines with the horizontal lines to obtain the number of clusters in agglomerative clustering. There were four clusters with an average silhouette score of 0 0.1729. The final model we used was K-mean clustering, which consists consider of two, three, four, five, six clusters. Four number of clusters gives us good fitting. After applying K-means, optimal value of number of clusters is five. Silhouette score for a set of sample data points is used to measure how dense and well separated the clusters are. Thank you.